Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Tuesday, the 2nd of July. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light the candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we'll sing our hymn throughout the service. It's not for tongues of heaven's angels. And we'll sing the first verse now. Not for tongues of heaven's angels, not for wisdom to discern, not for faith that masters mountains, For this better gift we yearn. May love be ours, Lord. May love be ours. May love be ours, O Lord. And our psalm is Psalm 24, which we say together. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas, and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false, and do not swear deceitfully. They will receive blessing from the Lord, and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, And be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing the next verse of our hymn. Love is humble, love is gentle, love is tender, true and kind. Love is gracious, ever patient, generous of heart and mind. May love be ours, Lord, May love be ours, may love be ours, O Lord. Our Gospel is Matthew 21, 23 to 32, the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When he entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will also ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? And they argued with one another, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second son and said the same. And he answered, I go, sir but he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of heaven ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness and you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
So once again, Jesus is having a run-in with the uh, Pharisees, the chief priests and the elders of the people. Um, and they come to him and say, why are you doing these things? By what authority? Now keep in mind that they are kind of the authority, uh, the elders and the chief priests. They were the authority of all religion in the land. And so here's this Jesus who they do not know doing all these miraculous things and he doesn't have the authority. Um, so he's, they're asking and they're questioning him. He's a threat to their authority. Um, of course, Jesus plays the game with them about John the Baptist and who, who, uh, who he was uh, and they're afraid and so they say they do not know. But then he tells a story, you know, a man had two sons. The first says, I won't go and work, but changed his mind and worked. And the second said, I'll go and didn't. Jesus is saying here that, you know, the tax collectors and the prostitutes, um, they walk the walk. They hear John the Baptist. They repent. They, uh, they turn from their ways and turn to align with God's ways, which is what the message of John the Baptist was. Turn to align your way to God's ways. And um, that's what they do. So in other words, they are walking the walk instead of just talking the talk of their religion. Um, and I think Jesus is accusing by, by this story accusing the religious righteous of only being righteous with their words and not with their actions so i think that this story for us means walk the walk um i think it's better if you were you say to the father i go and then do it i i think it's better if you if your words and your actions match uh in the case of the first son he changed his mind so um let us be those who willingly say, I will do the work of the Father, and then actually walk the walk. Let us sing the next verse of our hymn. Never jealous, never selfish, love will not rejoice in wrong. Never boastful nor resentful, love believes and suffers long. May love be ours, Lord, may love be ours, may love be ours, O oh Lord. And now let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In our prayers, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Creator God, we pray that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, and we continue to pray for the people who are caught up in war and violence. We pray for the people of Gaza, Israel, many other parts of the Middle East, Ukraine, Sudan, and we pray, O oh Lord, that we might be able to do our part for peace asking our politicians to work for peace and asking for the international community to find ways to find diplomatic solutions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that we may depart this life in your faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Luke and all your saints entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, those known to us, those unknown to us, 
And in our cycle of prayer for the sick in the parish, today we pray for Joanne Kinerva, Daryl Wilson, Linda and Karen, Ronald Roseland Barnes, Stephen and Diane Scruton, Patricia, Shirley Cooper, Bernie, Elaine, Bar Bob and Marjorie Doherty. We pray, O oh Lord, for all the sick, that they might know the healing touch of Jesus and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for some more families in our parish list. And of course, if you're joining us from another community, I invite you to pray for members of your community as well. Today, we pray for David Riddles and Janice Holden, for Jane Robbins, for Brett Roberts and Shannon Marsh and their children Haley, May, and Emily. We pray for Deborah Jean Roberts, for Gary, Eleanor, and Neil Roberts, for Jeff, Lindsay Colton, and Everett Robson, for Ronald and Shirley Rodwell, for Wendy Rogers, for Peggy Rooks, for Frederick and Tina and Isabella Rose, and for Ian and Barbara, uh, Ross and Allison, Amy, Katie, and Katie. We pray for each one, O oh Lord. We pray for their, uh, all that they are doing that in their work and in their play, that they might be servants of your kingdom. We pray that during this summer season, they might have time for um, recreation and rest. And we pray that they might know they belong to a community of faith that cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for um, some more uh, a province and two dioceses in the Anglican communion. Today we pray for the Church of Hong Kong. We also pray for the Diocese of Go Gogriel in the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan and the Diocese of Goma in the province de l'Église Anglicane du Congo. We pray for their archbishop, their bishops, their clergy, their people. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might have the resources they need to serve your kingdom and have the vision and the will to carry out your will for them. We pray for their health and well-being we pray for peace in their place. And we pray, O oh Lord, that they might be encouraged knowing that the world is praying for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Today we pray for Brother Lane Wilson. We give you thanks, O oh Lord, for his deep commitment to the gospel and to the brothers. We pray for him in all of his ministry. We give thanks for his wisdom and compassion we pray, O oh Lord, for his health and well-being. And we pray that your grace might continue to flow richly through him. And that he might know he is supported in prayer, not only by his brothers, but also by us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray our night prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace unfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray our collect for this week. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father. 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now let us sing the last verse of our hymn. In the day this world is fading, faith and hope will play their part. But when Christ is seen in glory, love shall reign in every heart. May love be ours, Lord, may love be ours, may love be ours, O Lord. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace of the last. Amen. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. I hope we'll see you as well on Thursday night. Um, and I wish you a good night's sleep and all of God's blessings. <laughs>